Hey everybody, welcome to the Three Way Podcast Show. This is JP with the man behind the magic, JRX4, Love. aka Elias. Love. Uh, we are on episode 20, and we're just gonna jump into it. You guys already know we always say it at the very beginning of the intro exactly who we are, what we are. Our link, please like and subscribe, ring down the bell below. Keep in mind we're on Anchor, Spotify, iTunes, and all that jazz. All right, so let's just go get into it. Uh, we'll start off with pop, pop. culture. Pop. So uh, with pop culture, sorry, Elias, you, you should give me some warning next time. <laughs> no, you're fine. All right, so uh, with pop culture, we're going to start off with the Quiet Place Part Dose trailer. The full so, trailer is uh, out. It's, it, it, it's not, I don't know if it's full or not. The trailer is a bit uh, uncertain. It's the, it shows the beginning of when the aliens it's like flashbacks i think yeah i'm pretty sure it's gonna be flashbacks they probably get, this gives them like probably an excuse to bring back john uh, I, I think so since yeah. he's directing anyway yeah he came back to direct it because the other director dropped out but uh yeah it looks good it looks intense it looks it, i mean i'm not really like 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 oh i want to see how it all started i kind of like how they just put you in the middle of it uh, because sometimes I feel like whenever they go back to like the, the beginning of things, like usually kind of ruins it a la fucking walking dead and all their series. That they do. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm not like super like, Oh, yeah. this is going to be like better than the first one, but I, I, I'm excited. I want to watch it. What are your thoughts? Well, the, the first one, the first one was really good. By the way, guys, spoilers. If you haven't seen the first one, because we just mentioned the aliens and flashbacks. Oh, it's everywhere. I think it's on Hulu it's, and it's, Netflix. It's, it's really think. good. It's somewhere around there. Yeah, it's you, you, there's. Oh, pff, it's annoyingly quiet for me though. <laughs> uh, that movie's annoyingly it's quiet. Called quiet place for. Like I have to like drop stuff on the ground to like make sure you know it's not too quiet. <laughs> but uh, it's a good movie. Uh, John Krasinski, Kras- Kras- whatever it's called, Kranowski, Kranowski. Big Tuna. The Big Tuna. Um, he uh, he did a, a marvelous job on the first one. Uh, I, I do like Emily Blunt as an actress. It brings back yeah, she's uh, the, really good. The daughter, the deaf daughter, and the son. Mm-hmm. Um, and it shows like the flashbacks, but also shows the future. Yeah. Where she's she has a baby in a suitcase. Yeah. So- <laughs> I don't know how that baby breathes in that suitcase. I think she has like an oxygen j- tank in there. I don't know what it is because that baby going to cry at some point. I don't know. That's why you give it that. Uh, what's it called? The NyQuil, you know? And, you know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but yeah, it, it looks very interesting. I'm down to watch it. Uh, I probably will watch it when it comes out. More than likely, we will do a hump day show oh, on yeah, the review sure. on it for sure. Um, and, and we'll touch base with you guys when then. But that's what we're starting off with. Also, we have been noticing lately that. A lot of movies in Disney Plus are poof disappearing like magic. Uh, uh, yeah, the Disney magic. Uh, well, yeah, apparently they've been low key about uh, getting rid of some of their very movies. Low key. I mean, I really, I really haven't been like, oh, actually. <laughs> well, I mean, well, actually, now that the uh, Mandalorian's uh, over, Mandalorian's over, my subscription is over. <laughs> and I, I, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, well, I got the bundle. I got Hulu Plus, ESPN Plus, which is great. Oh, wow. By the way, thirty for thirty. It's amazing, uh, but I also got wait, the wait, Disney you're Channel. Talking about thirty for thirty ESPN or thirty for thirty James Winston. Uh, thirty for thirty uh, ESPN, not thirty for thirty interceptions. And yeah, that's crazy. Nah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's something totally different. But like trash. Uh, with Disney Plus, I've noticed that with like because I watch the shows like Gargoyles um, and things like that, and mm-hmm. I've noticed a lot of the stuff has been cut off. Well, from and, this article from Polygon. They're saying that, um, let me see if I can pull it up here. Uh, okay. It says, quote, in fact, uh, as of 2020 begin, uh, beginning, some Disney Plus uh, users noticed that a few films have gone missing from the streaming library. Uh, Dr. Doolittle, Pirates of the Caribbean, All Stranger Tides, uh, Home Correct. Alone, Home Alone 2. And, and they were the on Sandlot. there at the very beginning. They were all there from the beginning. Yeah. And I think it's because of... And we're in this whole pushing agenda uh, uh, genre now, and and we don't allow what, what previously happened or what they said. Those are good movies. They need to come back. Disney Plus will lose. They're already losing just because of The Mandalorian. But yeah. they will lose subscriptions if they don't fix that problem. And even for me, I just I just noticed, like, man, Gargoyles is not badass as, as I once thought. Like, everything's cut up. Like, a lot of words were changed. Really? Uh, yeah, they it's, changed stuff from that from that show. Yeah, like it's weird, like oh, stuff like because they used to say certain things that you know, yeah, maybe it's not politically correct, but who gives a fuck? It was in the nineties, the greatest 
probably the greatest time in the United States history where you could say whatever the fuck you wanted and nobody said shit. Now you can't, and and that's what it is. So they're 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 cleaning house. Um, I think that's a big failure on their part. But Disney is a monopoly. They can do whatever the fuck they want and still make money at the end of the day. I mean, mm. Star Wars is a horrible ass movie, and people are still going and watching it. Well, there's also a statement here from uh, they they got from comicbook.com. In November 2019, a Disney uh, Plus spokesperson said, quote, there will be no, there will not be a rotating slate of licensed movies for each month. Uh, uh, With Disney Plus, beloved classics from the Disney vault will now stream in a permanent home, including Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Uh, Pinocchio, Pinocchio. Which I saw that one. It's actually Cinderella, The Jungle Book, The Little Mermaid, and The Lion King, the entire 13 film signature collection, all available day one. So, I don't know, I guess... I don't know. I guess they're like, like keeping the ones that they know people are gonna want to watch, no matter what. But I think they're gonna be rotating the other films out. Maybe I don't know. Why it doesn't do make that? sense because Home really Alone, doesn't. Home Alone one and two, I can watch all day. Um, I mean, and they're getting big hits with just the Marvel movies. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. But you know, hey, Disney is Disney. They're gonna do what the fuck they want. They're gonna like do I whatever said. they want. Um. But something else that's been occurring lately, and I, mm-hmm. I've seen a couple of, of, of tidbits here and there. Uh, I haven't tried this. Oh, um, yeah. So, the Burger King's Impossible Burger oh, uh, yeah. may be nothing but actual junk food. It might not even be vegetarian Oh man! at all. So, I know that they've been going oh, back and forth. Someone that. did sue them. I don't have the details on exactly what's oh, going on. I've never so tried them. Good. Elias says that he has, and it tastes just oh, like Oh, yeah. Waffles. I tried it once, baby. Uh, so, the Impossible Burger. It is like this burger from this company called Impossible Burger, I think, um, or something like that. Well, anyways, they, they distribute the burger to different like uh, companies, like, for example, Whopper uh, from the Burger King. Uh, they make their own version of it. Uh, well, apparently now there's like uh, like research behind these burgers. Like, okay, how are you able to do like how you make it look like a burger, like a reg- like a real patty meat thing? How are you getting that taste? How are you getting that color? Well, apparently, when they went behind the scenes of the uh, how it's chemically produced, dude, there's a lot of engineering done here. There, some of this stuff is not organic. Everything's like spliced together. And now they're saying that this burger is basically just junk food. Like, don't eat it. It's bad for you. And they're saying that literally, if you eat a wow. regular burger, it's actually better for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm not. A, I've never been a vegan person. Uh, I, I can't survive this world without meat. Oh, well, me neither. Um, but I, I wouldn't mind, like you know. I mean, if, if shedding, it's, shedding some pounds while I'm eating the burger, and I if it agree. tastes like a burger, why not? <laughs> but it's, it, it might taste like a burger, but it's not a burger, and it's unhealth. It's, it's very unhealthy. It's for very you, unhealthy. From apparently. what we're seeing, and to be honest, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me. I'll, we we all know that uh, vegetarians and and not just them, other other people have been trying to make. Uh, uh, some type of meat that isn't meat but tastes like meat is just like meat, uh, you know. But that's not going to happen because you got to kill to get some meat, and uh, that's just how the world works, ladies and gentlemen. That's why lions eat giraffes and shit like that because of their meat. Oh my god! Well, from this article from the Washington Post, it states this month in the Center of Food S- uh, Safety Watchdog Group that opposes gen- genetically engineered foods. Oh, that's a big one. Uh, called on the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, to recall the Impossible Burger product from grocery stores, citing safety concerns because of its use of genetically engineered HEME, H-E-M-E, comma, <laughs> an iron-rich molecule found in the meat and plants uh, for use of color additives. So that the way they're designing the color for the food, for the meat patty, I guess, for the, fa- the faux patty, like, it's all, I don't know, it's... It's going to turn you into, like, I don't know, like a mutant or something. I don't know. Like a fatty? Yeah. I don't know. It's just weird and complicated. I wish Burger King good luck. Uh, I mean, I tried it, though. It's actually, man, it does taste like a burger. It does taste like a burger? It does taste I like haven't a t- burger. I'm going to have to try Now you told me, I'm going to try it. Because I, cause you know how I am. I, I, I eat meats. You know what oh, I mean? Speaking I of burgers, s- I went to In-N-Out. I think I had, like, like, you know how whenever you think about something in the past, you're like, man, that was amazing. That was great. Yeah. And then, like, you, you see it again or you play that game again. And, and it's like, taste you're it. like, mm, it's not the same. I think I had that when I went to go eat it. I told you, in and out's not that good. It's really <laughs> not. 
that was like you know what though it was like 11 in the morning we went to go eat over there <laughs> it was just so far away from here i was like yeah you know this what? one in stafford while yeah while we're in that area let's let's just fuck it let's just go yellow yeah. go get a burger at like 10 30 in the morning whatever so we went to go eat it i was like yeah can i get some bacon on that oh sorry sir we don't have bacon i was like <sighs> i mean you guys can check out a video of when i went to austin Ooh. i tried the in and out and i tried uh the water burger i did water burger first and then i did in and out to me, in and out it wasn't bad. I'm not going to say it, wasn't it was bad. bad. But it, there, it's there, not. There's things between both of them I can, like, like argue for. Like, for example, the, the bun itself. I would prefer, like, the in and out bun on the, on the water on burger bun. Well, actually, the Burger King bun is what I would prefer. Oh, yeah, the one with the seeds on it? Yeah. 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 Well, that's a whole different topic. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, you know, good luck, Burger King. I hope that Impossible Burger turns out something for you guys. But um, that does it for Pop. So we're going to hop into uh, a little bit of a sad topic um, in a way, uh, which we're going to hop into sports. So, <laughs> sports is a sad topic. Yeah. So <laughs> go <laughs> touchdown. Uh, I don't know. What other like celebration? I don't, I don't know. know. And he scores. All right. James Harden. Ew. <laughs> sports. Well, uh, speaking of James Harden, uh, sad news in the NBA. David Stern passed away at the age of 77. I be- uh, <laughs> How do you go from James Harden to passing away? In the, uh, uh, well, <laughs> I mean, David Stern is a very big part of no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, no. NBA David for being the Stern, way it was. Oh, I'm going to preview it again. David Stern. David Stern was like pivotal for the NBA in the early 2000s. He, if it wasn't for him, there's a lot of things that nowadays that are happening wouldn't Correct. happen. Uh, he did like he did change a lot in the NBA from the '90s. I want to say from '80s, from '80s. Yeah, we were a little a- bit more rugged in the ni- in the '80s, uh, '80s, and then- '90s to, to the 2000s and forward. Like his his imprint on the NBA will forever be there. Um, Agreed. There's also like the that that meme of uh, CP3 laughing. <laughs> He's yeah, dead. that's all. Because he, he he stopped that trade. Because David Stern t- blocked the uh, trade to, uh, to LA. Chris Paul the trade from LA. Yeah. yeah. Thank God. Yeah. But uh, no. But in, in all seriousness, David Stern. He was like I don't know. I've only seen like two commissioners in the NBA. He was pretty good. Let's see how this other guy. Uh, what's his name? Silver or something like that. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, look. I, I I feel like he changed. A lot about the NBA. He made it more national uh, yeah. through oh, under yeah, the him, inter- Ginobili, Yao yeah. Ming. Uh, uh, talking about people from uh, um, you know Europe uh, and their style of play. Uh, it's, it's just worldwide. We had people from the Middle East, yeah. uh, you know, Russia, Ukraine, yeah. and and now we got Luka Doncic. We got all these stars worldwide and. Marcos Rubio. I mean, it's just crazy to see the type of talent worldwide and to know that the NBA is it. I will have to say, outside of soccer, I think the most recognizable sport outside of soccer worldwide is basketball. And so it's be- nowadays, yes, because of what he, he because pushed of for. what he did. And so yeah. he had a big part of it, guys. That's the reason we're bringing him up. Um, I mean, you know, he has a lot of good quotes. If y'all go check, like there's some stuff on YouTube where you can go and look some of the cold blooded shit David Stern did. That motherfucker was cold blooded. He was cold blooded from time to time. So, I mean, you guys go check that out. And, uh, you know, sad day for the NBA. But uh, uh, he left it in, in good hands, and it's become better. It's more global now, yeah. I think. I mean, just look what happened at China. That's how that's how badass David Stern was that it's popular in China. Like, mm-hmm. NBA stars, even after they retire, like Allen Iverson, uh, Stefan Marbury, they all go to China, sell their shoes and their products. So, uh, sad day for the NBA. Now, uh, there's a lot of op- job opening, guys. As we know, the economy has been, been really, really good, and there's a lot of job openings. But not only are there job openings in our daily adult lives, but also in the NFL. whole bunch of job openings for head coaching. Uh, so as we well know, the Browns is known to People be- got fired, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. Hey, it happens. It happens. All right? It happens. That's why you got to save while you work. First you know of all, I, mean? I want to save. Good job, Boo. Cowboys. Finally, finally, my after boy, man. 13 years, the reign of this guy is over. Yeah, so Coach uh, that is Give one of up. the... <laughs> Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. That is finally. one of the uh, openings. Uh, the Cowgirls got rid of Jason Garrett. Um, finally. Uh, you act like Jerry Jones don't coach that team. Finally. Uh, so uh, they've parted ways. 
Uh, Look, it's 2020. There, there's you know, a lot of head coaches. He probably doesn't have a lot of time left, so I'm okay with it. Well, according to <laughs> rumors, uh, there's people looking for him to be the head coach of New York Jets. I mean, New York Giants. Garrett? Yeah, Jason uh. Garrett. It's rumored. Um, but uh, the, the Cowboys have that opening. They have a lot of college coaches coming in. But one of the most recognizable coaches is Mike McCarthy that used to be with the Green Bay Packers. He won a Ooh. Super Bowl with Aaron Rodgers. Uh, he is rumored to Ooh. be having a visit and going to the Dallas Cowboys and speak on the matter. Um, I hope he doesn't go there. But if he does go there, he's going to lose, as we all know. Um, but Mark McCarthy is rumored. This, uh, there's another one from uh, college. I forgot his name. I don't really watch college, guys. So sorry. But I'm, I'm pretty sure Elias can pull it up and show you guys. They're rumored to also be going after um, uh, several, head coach, uh, several head coaches from college that they believe will be up to par uh, to basically being the puppet of Jerry Jones. Once again. Yeah, they, if they get a new coach, it, it's got to be somebody who can stand up to him. I mean, the last person that did was Bill Parcells. Then he got fired. And Bill Parcells got fired. And Bill Parcells was one head of a motherfucking coach. I That's one know. of my favorite hopefully, coaches of all time. Hopefully they do, though. I mean, from my my impression is that nowadays the son is more in charge of the Cowboys than, Correct. than the dad is. It's rumored. But if that's the case, hopefully the son will step in and, like, Get a coach that well, is going to run the team. The, the Cowboys aren't the only ones that have had openings. We mm -hmm. know the New York Giants also yeah, have a, a head coach uh, job position open. Right. Um, they haven't really said who's going to be in. They haven't really gone over who they want. Of course, there have been some candidates from college as well. But nothing is set in stone. But what is set in stone is the Washington Redskins already filled their opening by hiring Ron Rivera from the Carolina Panthers. Oh, they went ahead and got him already? Yeah, they, okay. they went, he's, he's going to be the head coach now. Um, they, they're going about it the right way. I like the hire. I think Ron, Ron Rivera uh, was is, is a good head coach. I think that the emphasis on Cam Newton is what killed his career. As we all know, quarterbacks kill coaches' careers uh, yeah. a lot of the time. So, you know, he dug his grave on that one. But hopefully with this, because I think Washington is talented. I, I think they're about maybe two wide receivers and maybe a corner away from Who's being. Who's starting quarterback? Their starting quarterback is Haskins. Who, oh, Case Keenum is on that? And Case Keenum is on And actually, Case Keenum played pretty My well. My boy. But, uh, still there. <laughs> but we know that the NFC East is one of the worst divisions been 10 in the NFL. Years, uh, Jesus. Yeah, it, it's, it's that's crazy. Boy's been backing up for ten years. It's crazy. And now, not only that, we also are aware uh, that the Browns' head coaching uh, job uh, is also open. Of course. Um, uh, Freddie Kitchens was fired. No Bye -bye. one was surprised. Now with all that talent, you had Odell Beckham, you had Jarvis Landry, you had uh, Baker Mayfield. You got all that talent yeah. on the defense inside and on the offense. It's just sad to see that. Honestly, honestly, they man, dude, they need a, they need a, I don't know, they need to revamp the whole o offensive line is what no, they, their main they issue. They need to revamp their whole like look. And they also got rid of, of they Dorsey. Need a new they even a got rid jersey, of their general manager. Some new color schemes, like I mean, man. I don't know what they're going to do. I, I know they're going to try to uh, to make sure that everything is done correctly. They're trying to make moves to go, in this, you know, in the right direction. It's just, you know, it's so hard to be a legit contender in the NFL. But the 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 Browns have that that opening available. Um, I'm not aware of another team. I'm, I'm trying to think here. I know the Steelers are fine. Baltimore's fine. Uh, um, you know. You know, Kansas City's fine. Uh, I think the one rumor right now going around is that Tom Brady might go ahead and uh, retire, leave, re leave or retire after this year I'm pretty with sure the Patriots. Retire. He wouldn't just leave and go somewhere I, else. I'm pretty sure he would leave uh, and go somewhere else. There's a lot of rumors going around that him and Bill Belichick don't get along. What? So I mean, it's a rumor. It's a possibility. Oh, let me let me text Tom right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But you know, it's there. It's there. But now that we're in the thick of things, I mean, those are the main positions that I see that are wide open. Everybody else is pretty much set in stone. I wish the Texans would get another head coach, but here we are. Here we are. Eh, it is what it is. Well, anyways, we're in the middle of the thick of things in the NFL as far as the playoff go is concerned. Matter of fact, today as we are recording, the Texans will play the Buffalo Bills, and I'm calling it here and now. The Texans will win that game. Um, also, we have the Tennessee at Patriots, and I am calling it now, but I could be wrong on this one, but I'm calling it now. Tennessee's going to win that game, so it's going to be an upset. Um, and uh, we have next um, tomorrow, 
which is Sunday, mm-hmm. uh, which at, when this show comes out, more than likely it's already uh, been completed. We have Minnesota at New Orleans. And I'm calling an upset, y'all. I am calling an upset. I might be wrong, but I'm going for Minnesota, so I'm saying Minnesota is beating New Orleans at New Orleans. I, I, it's just an upset. I'm not. I mean, it's it's it is what it is. And then we have the Seahawks at the Eagles, and I'm going with the Seahawks. Marshall Lynch is back with the Seahawks. He's running that thing. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it's Russell Wilson. I just don't see the quarterback of the Eagles, uh, Red Rocket, uh, uh, once in a lifetime. Uh, Wentz in a lifetime. I'm sorry, Carson Wentz. Uh, I just don't uh, see him. That ain't Red Rocket. Red Rock is the <laughs> Bengals one. So I just, yeah. I just, I just don't see that happening. Okay, and then, then do, we do, have. Do you think they they're regretting letting go of the other guy that won in the Super Bowl? I don't think so because he's already injury prone with the Jaguars. Like he was. I mean, both of them are kind of. Yeah. So I mean, I just I don't really see. I think that was just one. Lucky ass moment with Nick Foles, but we'll see how it is. But that's what's going on uh, in the playoffs. This is who I'm predicting is going to win as far as uh, for this week. So I'm going for the Texans, of course, uh, Titans, and then I'm also choosing Minnesota over the Saints and the Seahawks beat the Eagles. Now, the reason I'm picking the Vikings is because, as Elias well knows, there's always one upset, one upset in the wild card round. So. That's the upset that I'm picking, y'all. So why not the Titans? Because it's not much of an upset. The Patriots have been really playing like crap. Like they really they have. have. Yeah, they have. So it's not. It wouldn't be much of an upset. It wouldn't surprise me if they did. I mean, it would be an upset regardless because the Patriots it, it would, are always like top tier. They're always favored to go to the Super Bowl. Like. Yeah, but this year it's just been different for them. So that's what I'm telling you. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Tom Brady leaves the Patriots after this year and goes elsewhere. Uh, but that does it for sports. Let's go ahead and chuggle on into gaming. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. I just dance. That you dancing. Playing? You playing DDR right now? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. So, you know. So, uh, big news in gaming, which I think is the biggest news of all. There was a gaming leak with Final Fantasy VII, the remake. Now. I have not been on Twitter <laughs> or Facebook. I've been actually debating about talking about this. I don't know if you want to talk about spoilers, but then again, I was like, this "There's is not no, much spoilers." This is an old ass game. Like, okay, okay, uh, agreed, agreed. But basically, what the, the run around, and we're not gonna get into spoilers because I feel like that would be bad for you guys. Basically, what they did was they showed the stats on villains, uh, some of the bosses, mm-hmm. some of the graphics, some of the clips. It's nothing major, major that we don't already know as far as the storyline is concerned. But I, I mean, I, like I said, old game storyline. I think they're gonna keep it the same. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Uh, still though, you motherfuckers can't wait for the motherfucking game to come out. Like, god damn, no, I gotta kill movies and the, video games. Do you not Fuck. know how the internet works, man? Like, Bro, it's it's fucking annoying. But I mean, I I understand everybody's concern, and it's about to come out. It comes out in March, I believe, or March or April. I believe it's March. I think it's April. I don't, I don't know. I hope it's anymore. March. But yeah, uh, uh, it, it's it leaked. Um, they're trying to get s- s- push back on that. Like any anybody anytime releases oh, anything. Oh yeah, March third. Oh March third. So I mean, it's right around the corner, y'all. Just give it two months. Uh, I'm excited for it. Uh, so I don't want to spoil too much. I haven't seen much. I don't know what Elias has seen. I, I haven't seen much. I have tried to stay away from that because I really want to be surprised if they do have anything upcoming in the video game. So. There you go. Also, um, I feel sorry for Tom Holland because uh, the Uncharted movie loses another director. I don't know how many directors this is. Three I or four. I think this is number six. Damn! I thought it was three or four. I think. Hold on. Did I report it? Uh, I don't see. I know it's a, it's been a while. I don't know. Yeah, it has been a while. But I, I, I think that... That's a bad sign. That's a, that's a terrible that's sign. That's a terrible sign. I think they need to go back and start from scratch. Uh, Tom Holland, this would have been another great role for him. Um, Honestly, do we need an Uncharted film? I don't think we do. No. But I think people want it. 
I don't know. I don't think we need an Uncharted film. Because it's like Indiana Jones to me. It's it's difficult. It's difficult to like. It's like when you go from book to film. It's it's difficult to please the people in the original way of them like meeting Agreed. their characters, whatever. We don't. If they do a film, they would have to do something completely original, like loose, that's why they were loosely, going teenager, loosely tied to the sh- to the uh, to, to the, the game, games. and and then people are gonna be like. It does, it's not like the game. This doesn't happen. Like what is it? like? It's because oh, you never no. make everyone happy. You never make. You'll never make anyone happy. The only people that are gonna really enjoy this is people just like Tom Holland or like the director that. Well, if you ever find one. I mean, just think about the people that play The Witcher and how much they're bitching about The Witcher. That's what I'm saying. And it's like actually, if you don't really play the games or read the books, you actually enjoy the show a lot more. Well, yeah, I mean, the the games are like a sequel to the books, and the and what we're watching on um was it Netflix? It's all from the books, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it's easier to go from book to film, I believe, because like now you have a visual representation of these things. Okay, you'll that's have fair. less. You'll less. You'll have less like backlash to it. But we have video games of this guy. Like years of playing sequels, I mean, <laughs> you have a face and everything. Yeah, like you, you have more invested in it because you actually play it. You know, you have control of the character. So I don't know. I don't. I don't see why we needed this movie. I, I'd just say at this point, just kill it, stop it. Yeah, because you don't want a Max Payne on your hands. Oh God. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord Jesus, that was a horrible movie. But hey, you know. Uh, it is what it is. I feel sorry for Tom Holland. Uh, I hope that they turn around because I, honestly, not that I need it, but I wouldn't mind seeing a movie like that. You know, I mean, Indiana it'll, it'll basically style. be Indiana Jones. To be I mean, honest, yeah, but Indiana Jones—they've already fucked it all up with oh, that yeah, last one. Yeah. So you know, something new, something a little bit more current would be refreshing. You know, I guess. there's still another one coming out, right? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel about that one. Uh, but also, Elias, you can take control on this one here. So we are also going to be discussing uh, Gaming Damned versus Take Two. Tell me All a little bit about that. All right. All right. So Gaming Damned, a buddy of mine, he's a modder. Uh, we actually had an episode with him uh, where we went over his whole issue with Take Two, interacted with the guys who make uh, GTA, uh, Red Dead Redemption, and et cetera. Well... Uh, this past week, he actually finally got, uh, uh, stopped the case. His modding project has, has been killed because of the company. Now he's going to, he's actually going to be on our hump day show this week. I'm going to talk to him again about it. What's going on. Cause there's been some more development. He actually got a new lawyer. Um, he's having like so many issues with this company, like take two interactive, and basically, to give you guys the TLDR, in case you didn't watch that episode, uh, he's he's modding Red Dead Redemption One on the PC, but not the game, but the maps. So he's like trying to make it visually better on PC, but the problem is, uh, of course, number one, that game never came out to PC. So the game he's playing on PC is, you know, a mirage, in other words. Not a mirage, like but a, a mirror of. A, I don't want to say illegal because I don't think it's illegal, but it's it's something that Take Two never actually intended to happen. Now it's it's been more complicated with that now. Uh, now that he's been uh, he's been getting another lawyer, he's been like suiting up, getting ready to uh, continue his case for for his project. Um, for me, uh, it, it gets really like it gets really like a uh, muddy where he talks about it. I'm like, okay, but the the the, the issue stems with with Take Two is that the game that you're playing on the PC is not meant for the PC. So when it comes to the EULA, you know all the restrictions, all the copyright stuff, it kind of like goes by the wayside when you're bringing a game that's not supposed to be there. I think uh, at least that's my understanding from Take Two's point of view. Um, his point of view is like. In the EULA, as long as I purchase this game, I do what I want with it. But I did not, what he's saying, I'm not, I'm not saying this like word for word. From my understanding is that the game was already ported to the PC. And what he's doing is just like fixing it. You know what I mean? Like making But, it, but you even out. said he doesn't have the characters. It's just basically the maps. It's, it's a single, it's the game itself, like, like the one player game. It's a story. It's basically you're playing the game on PC. But what he's doing is basically making it look better. You know what I mean? 
like he's putting like better graphics, making it look newer, more polished. More polished. Ah, that's that's touchy though. That's what I'm saying. And it's like, very touchy. And like again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him probably tomorrow, and it'll be at the Hump Day show this week. Um, for me, it, it it just seems like he's like he's trying to like like say, hey, look, it's this is not supposed to be. This is not illegal. What I'm doing is not illegal. Uh, take two should back off in a story, but we'll see. Uh, I'm going to get his point of view on the, on this new take on what's going on with him. Yeah. So, it sounds very interesting. Guys. Yeah. So this definitely was, check that out because yeah. modding has such become such a big part of gaming. Yeah. And, I mean, and everyone does huge for, part of gaming. Everyone adds huge. all these, these cool things to it. I don't personally play the online stuff a lot. Mm. I'm more into story driven games, but I've seen it online and watching YouTubes and, and, and people that play that through YouTube and Twitch, how they mod and do certain things. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And it gives the gamers that freedom. And yeah. that's what gamers really and truly enjoy. So I get his point, you know, good luck to him on that. But uh, check that episode out, guys. It is very interesting. Modding is a big part of, uh, of gaming, especially in a lot of games. Uh, so hopefully everything works out uh, mm -hmm. for your friend. So that about does it here uh, at this episode. I just want to mention something real quick. That's because uh, I'm usually like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I forgot I'm, about that. I'm usually a uh, very. Um, like, I don't give a fuck person, but uh, I do really care about some stuff that's going on in Australia. Is this guys, your final punch? Yeah, this is my, I guess it's my final punch, <laughs> if you want to say. Guys, try to find something to help that what, what the, the fire that's going on in Australia. Try to look up at it. It's very, very serious. Even the one in Brazil, too. Um, you know, this, this is stuff that really does affect our planet overall. So just do some research. It doesn't hurt to be informed and maybe that can make you decide to do some things on your own. Uh, that's all I'm saying. But uh, anything you want to finish and say? Uh, no, just a happy new year to everybody. Uh, Merry Christmas in case I didn't say that. Uh, was it coming out Monday? Monday is... Happy Reyes Magos for all my, you know. Oh my, my God. Team. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, but uh, thank you guys. Hopefully, this new year will bring us, uh, you know, some more positivity, more growth. Um, also, side note, a uh, little personal thing uh, my Twitch channel. I'm going to be cutting back on the streams. I'm not going to be going Monday through Friday anymore. It's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and that's it. Uh, maybe it'll be more again. I don't know, but I want to take some time back off of streaming to focus more on the podcast because I, I do feel like it's been lacking and like I need to work on that like so like, well we we all gotta work on it <laughs> so yeah like I'm, I'm cutting back on that just to see if I can do some more stuff on YouTube not only on the podcast but on my personal YouTube channel as well um but yeah thank you guys for watching so thank you guys for watching like and subscribe you already know Anchor Spotify iTunes all that jazz yeah yo uh, have a nice and wonderful fucking day peace out okay, yes. bye